the support that I received, obviously leading the project in school, was through a lead practitioner who was from the SSAT and it was absolutely invaluable. Actually having the chance to discuss things and sort of sound out ideas, talk about any issues that had occurred because, you know, we, we live in a real world, it's a real school and sometimes things don't run to plan as much as you wish that they would. Um, and it was really fabulous to just be, you know, at the end of an email or a phone call and just say, you know, look, I'm having some trouble with this, can I just talk it through with you? Um, is this going to work? You know, do you think this would be a useful um, area to explore? Um, and actually, um, the discussions with my lead practitioner were sort of quite full. And it wasn't, you know, it was also it was about the project, but also she'd say, "Oh, have you read this?" You know, particular article. Or um, one of the um, other schools that I'm working with as a lead practitioner has tried this. It might be a good. And it was really great because we want to be outward looking. And it's really hard to find that time to network. So my lead practitioner was really useful for supportive advice, but also putting me in contact with, with other um, people who were doing the project in other schools um, so that we could really share good practice um, across you know, districts. It wasn't just you know, within, within a school or within my particular teaching area. It was you know, across the country, and that was really, really helpful. Um, it was the regularity of those. I think the conversations that were booked in with my lead practitioner, so there were a certain number of conversations that we knew we were going to have, were invaluable in allowing me to sort of step back and reflect upon what was happening in school. Because I knew I was going to have a conversation, um, and Jane was my particular practitioner. I was having a conversation with Jane. It was time that we, I got that feedback, and I really reflected upon where we were going, and if we were on track, and had we had enough meetings, and, and the timing of those. And I think that's really important, because it's that time to sort of consider um, and think about planning the next sort of section of, of the project so she was invaluable in lots of different ways um, but it was also am I doing this right I think sometimes you know when you're running something you just want a little bit of you know yeah that's going well and you know great um, and yeah do you know I think that's a, you know that's you know it was nice to hear feedback on how as somebody looking into school she saw those the project work you know working and she came into school as well which was great so it was nice to have her actually here as well on a face-to-face -face basis.